Do you know what this is? It's a comfort zone. You know what's inside of it? Pretty much my past life. Waking up, going to work, coming home, eating, Facebook, sleep, repeat. You know what's associated with the comfort zone? The comfort zone is associated with self-doubt, low self-confidence, mediocrity, depression, and sadly, 90% of the world just lives inside the comfort zone. Now, today, after just taking a step out, after just doing random things, I've become a lot more of what's on the outside than what's in here. And recently, actually, I told my friend that I want to be more open, be more vulnerable with people. And he's like, great, so let me give you a challenge. So he said, I want you to go to the mall, stand in front of Victoria's Secret, and I want you to hold up a sign that says, I will share with you my deepest, darkest secrets, just ask. <laughs> so I said, challenge accepted. And when I went to Victoria's Secret, I was excited. I was like, all right, let's do this. I'm ready for this. I'm going to do it. And I bust out the sign. And oh my goodness, I've never ever felt so judged, ashamed, like criticized in my life. And I just, I just, I just shrunk. I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is so embarrassing. But in the process of doing something that was outside of my comfort zone, I realized so much about myself that I never knew. Uh, for example, by holding up that sign and just feeling judged, I realized that people weren't, weren't judging me for for my deeper darker secrets. I didn't even tell them yet, but they were looking at me and I just interpreted the, their gestures as them judging me. So I've learned to stop being so critical and I've also learned that I generate my own fear, my own anxiety. So just by this simple example, not only did I learn that I generate fear, anxiety, and also just judgment, but also by releasing and just letting go of these deepest, darkest secrets, I realized that they weren't that big of a deal. And now that they're off my shoulder, I could just go forward and move on with my life towards what's outside the comfort zone, passion, uh, confidence, huge thing for me, as well as purpose and, and all that good stuff. And now that my attention is not focused here, but it's focused outside of the comfort zone, I've done so much more with my life. I never thought I'd ever get anywhere near becoming a motivational speaker. I knew I, I wanted to. It's kind of like one of those, I want to be an astronaut, but is it really possible? I don't know. And it, you don't know until you really try. So that's one thing I just did. I just said, you know what? This is what I want to do. Screw it. I'm just going to do it. I'm, I'm going to take a leap of faith. And at first it was super rocky, starting up my YouTube channel, experimenting and working on my practice, practicing my speaking and everything like that. Slowly by slowly, this is my 13th video. I'm slowly to get like a feel of how to be more authentic, how to be real in front of you and uh, not be so camera shy anymore. Because when I started these videos, like I was freaked out to be staring at a camera and just being open and just being myself has be become like a skill, something that's natural uh, by, because originally all that stuff was outside my comfort zone. But once you, once you practice it and once you keep doing it, it, it becomes part of your comfort zone. Your comfort zone grows. And in order to sustain it, you gotta keep, you gotta keep going out. You, get, you gotta keep doing things outside your comfort zone. And that's how you grow. That's how you become a better person. And I remember I used to be so scared about doing certain things. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of push, but my encouragement is, just go for it. You know, if, if there's a cute girl that you're scared to talk to, just do it because you never know. You probably won't ever see that person again. If you're in college or if, if it's in your workplace, hey, just saying, Sony Pictures, there's a lot of cute girls there where I used to work. They don't even know who I am anymore, you know? So like, I should have I should made more moves over there. But point being is seize every single opportunity that you have and just, just make the most of it because you only have one life and just don't be scared to take risks because you'll get so much more out of taking those risks than just sitting there and doing nothing, just staying inside of your uh, sad, depressing, lonely, mediocre, <laughs> mediocre comfort zone. All right, so uh, that's all for this week. So hopefully you take more risks and just, just get, out, get out there. All right, have a good one. Peace.